I gotta come up for some oxygen tonight in the reviewing cave. It hasn't been a super fun night on the reviewing table. I worked through some pretty mediocre guns in my opinion. It has been a summer of fails. TM peers, subscribers to the Nut and Fancy Project, watching the videos, thank you very much. They know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's just been a bad summer. Maybe this will continue forever. I don't know. Not super fun. And so the way I'm going to get a breath of fresh air, oxygen, as I'm saying now here in the intro, is by putting something on the table that's awesome. That I don't have any reservations about. That I can tell you, you know what, this is five stars from what I know about it. Shoots great. Great quality. Looks cool. Shoots cool. It's fun. It integrates into some pretty cool systems. This is my tabletop review oh, on cool. probably the very hard to find underlying scored bold italic Blackheart International number BHI 762101 AK63D. Wow, that's a mouthful. I wish I reviewed this a couple years ago. But I didn't have the store at the top helping me a couple years ago. And you can thank them for helping me get this to you. Thank you. So, yeah. Buy from that store, subject to change. But right now, they are supporting me in the reviewing process, and that's why I'm doing so many GRVs. Thank you very much. If you can find this gun, do not hesitate. Do not pass go. Buy it, says the Nut and Fancy Project. It is that good from what I know about it. I went on Black Hearts uh, International. I'm just going to call them BHI because it's hard to say. Black Heart International. Started by Eric Lawrence in 1999, I guess. Don't know the guy. I went on BHI's website today looking around. Do they still make this gun? The AK-63D with the Beechwood stock under folder. We'll talk about the parts makeup of it as, as I know it. And the answer is probably not. I don't even see it listed anymore. You might find it at some gun stores. I think the gun store that I showed you has a couple of them, not many. So buy quickly from them. Tell them TMP sent you. They do have a Romanian gun similar to it. And I shooting this one, I'm probably thinking that one's going to shoot about the same way. I cannot guarantee you. I won't guarantee you. But that is a BFV762-101. And then they have some other variations on it, uh, B -W, uh, B10W, B B10Alpha, uh, different, different furniture on those. So it just depends if you want wood furniture. Uh, but those guns on their website now, the AK underfolders, they have new Romanian parts, a U.S. chrome-lined barrel, uh, chrome-plated uh, carrier and piston, which is common in a high-quality AK, says me. But dang, this is a great gun. Fun to shoot, surprisingly comfortable, and I'll start right there. Dang, I was surprised how comfortable this underfolder was. Now, ergonomically, we do have some issues. I mean, uh, we'll talk about SAWs here in a second, and I'll fold it out here in a second, not quite yet. Uh, in other words, it's steel, and so I put a run of athletic tape on here. So if I'm shooting it in the wintertime, I'm not putting my fat chipmunk cheeks right on the steel stock, and that will work. It'll absorb some water in the rain and snow, but it works. It's simple. It costs me about nothing to do, too. There's probably some other mods you can do on there, but I think the gun's pretty squared away as it comes. Really is. Uh, Blackheart, still hard to say, uh, also was known for a while on... There was an M92 AKSBR 10-inch barrel side fo folder, kind of a crank off. It got a lot of press. Uh... I never shot that one, but shooting this one, I bet you that gun rocked. Albeit, it has a short barrel, and I don't prefer SBRs. This has a 16-inch and a quarter barrel, and that's plenty short for me. That's that's what I want. I don't want a sh short SBR barrel. I mean, I reviewed the Draco, and I had that huge discussion there. Go look that video up. <clears throat> In certain philosophies of use, a super short SBR makes a lot of sense. You know, VIP protection, maybe a vehicle integration. Other than that, a lot of times we can integrate a full full size barrel. I recommend it just for velocity on a cartridge that actually needs more velocity. Why handicap it? Um, I think a lot of guys love the SBRs because they see them in the vid games, and that's why they get bonded to them. They're like, oh, that's cool. Um, there was another one, a BHI 762B10. It had a it's basically the same gun. It had a 
Phoenix Recoil Reducing Stock CAA Furniture had like and let's see there's I think it had a front uh, M Midwest Industry no it was a CAA front rail I'm sorry on that one model I I didn't see that but this is my favorite in case you're wondering if you find it this is my favorite it's classically AK underfolder it looks cool and it works that's a rare combination so you got a good balance between 1C and 2C that's a really really cool balance and philosophy of use will take us to a system where you do need a short overall length of a gun now this is a Tapco AK-74 I put on it it came with a slant break so the gun is actually even shorter overall length I mean it's very compact not Draco compact I don't know if it's M85 or M92 compact but it's pretty close you AK folder guys know what I'm talking about they they work I mean they they integrate into a lot of different systems where SAWC is critical vehicular stuff I said before I won't put a lot of uh, time in the philosophy of use and you get no SBR hassle so there's no paperwork nothing you have to file with ATF it's fully legal for now and I say that because the time will probably come when these AK underfolders are not legal. They'll go, oh, no, dude, you can't have that. There's no way. That is not approved. So with coming political administrations, uh, they'll look at this and they'll go, that's, that's out and out evil. <laughs> you, you can't have that. Uh, buy quick, buy early, says me. Uh, and standard philosophy of use, WRL, recreational. Uh, vehicle gun it's a really good vehicle gun like awesome. I said because it's very short overall length you can fire it obviously in the folded position accurately eh, probably not let's go over the features SAWC design and ergos like we always do I'm gonna start off with weight if I remember right the Draco was like seven and three quarter pounds with a magazine this is seven pounds eight ounces the BHI AK 63d well done and that's without the Tabco break. So the Tabco break is like 3.8 ounces or something. It's uh, a lot. Uh, so it's lightweight for an AK. It's stamped receiver AK, of course. And it, can you tell a feature that is super cool? I was talking about a balance between first and second cool. Something you I don't see very often on AKs that I've reviewed. Parkerization. If you said that, gold star. It's a parked AK. And man, does it look good against a beechwood stock. I love parkerization. It looks so cool. It just dominates the Russian painted guns. Yeah, it's just a black enamel, which I think is garbage. I always have to take it off and Cerakote or Duracote it. If I want it to be rust proof. Parkerization holds oil. It looks good. It's got that matte gray appearance. It just looks badass. And it reminds me of my roommate's gun in college. He had a really beautiful blonde beechwood Bulgarian AK. He was stupid to ever sell it. He said as much, like, I can't believe I sold that gun. And man, we love that gun. I was like, God, that's the coolest freaking AK. It reminds me of that. The wood on it's pretty excellent. It's beechwood, maybe rubber wood. I call it rubber, rubber wood sometimes. But this particular sample, it's pretty good. I love the coloration. I would not put a aftermarket stock on this I wouldn't I wouldn't even change the pistol grip out this one doesn't look like a kindergartner kindergartner put it together like I said on the AMD 6365 review it's not that great I'm not saying the wood is amazing you can see it's basically rubber wood or beech wood but um, you know it looks good I love it the barrel as far as I know let's go over components and as far as I know where they come from on this particular version again the Romanian AK under folders could be completely different I can't vouch for those uh, you do have an under barrel cleaning rod which on this gun I'm probably gonna leave it on on the Arsenal SGLs uh, you know I take it off just for weight but it looks so cool on this I can't do it not gonna do it oh this is American barrel it's chrome line 16 and a quarter inches 1 in 10 twist, 14 by 1 left hand thread, standard AK thread. That's what I know about it. And judging by the way it's shot here in TMP, it's well made. Well made. I can't tell you if it's CHF. I don't know. As far as I know, it's a 1.5 millimeter US produced receiver on this. And I think they went out and bought Hungarian AK-63 kits. And then they manufactured parts to achieve 922R compliancy. Um, I'll take some pictures and roll them in here of uh, the Trunnion, 
the interior, all of it looks to be very high quality. I don't see any issues. I don't see any problems with this gun. Uh, I did hear like from gun stores, they're like, well, you know, we had some return. They had some rivet problems. I, I just have a really hard time believing that from what I saw. I mean, we didn't like put, you know, thousands of rounds through this thing, but I shot enough to get a feel for it. And looking at, you know, the quality levels of the receiver, how it's put together. So here's a look at the left side of the receiver. You got an attempt pretty much of XY reinforcement stampings, magazine dimple, a very light imprinting of the BHI information on it. Again, a USA receiver. Uh, and riveting seems to be pretty clean. This one's wearing a Tapco G2 trigger, which is excellent. I like Tapco G2s, they've always been great. You can see the magazine paddle here, and let's check mag rattle. Uh, better than most, uh, including perhaps my arsenals. Yeah, it seems like it's pretty tight. Now, this is a Bulgarian Waffle Circle 10, probably my overall favorite AK mag. Uh, it's pretty excellent, but it's nice. Uh, trigger was great. I mean, it just, G2, work good. Standard AK sights, by the way, nothing new there. I found it to be pretty well regulated right out of the box. Shooting a little bit left, we drifted it somewhat. You can see the front being drifted. By the way, the watch for this is, I think this is a Gravity Master GA1100. Sick watch, link in the bottom. That's kind of a fun thing I'm doing. <laughs> Wearing a different watch for each review. Uh, field strip, takedown, standard AK, no surprises there. The barrel profile is standard 762.39. That is, it's kind of skinny. Uh, just just like any Russian, well, I should say, not any, but most Russian AKs, it's skinny. But we've talked about that in past reviews, so I don't think we have to discuss any more. How about the whole underfolder stock? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Is it excellent? Does it suck? I think I love it, actually. It's not the fastest to deploy and to stow. Uh, you're gonna, it has a swiveling butt pad. I did find during firing that since it doesn't lock, you could rotate it, you know, and that might be a little bit of annoyance. But we'll go to this untaped side. At least you have a rolled over, you know, presentation to your cheek. And so that I thought it was pretty comfortable, at least in the summertime. You know, like I said, I put athletic tape in there. There is some wiggle of the stock, but I think that's pretty standard with a, a D model underfolder. You know, I didn't, I didn't really mind it at all. If you hate it, you could put a fixed stock on it, but why? I mean, this thing is so cool and so compact. So this is your push button to underfold. And believe it or not, it will clear a 30 round mag. Look at that. That's awesome, man. This is a freaking cool gun. Uh, no optics rail, of course, because it's an underfolder, nor would I make any attempt to put it on. Uh, like I said, I wouldn't change the fore end on it either. It's just, it, to me, it's like a close range gun. The AK-63D is a close range to me. You know, some guys may be online, they go, oh, I'd engage out to 400 meters with it. I'm like, well, come out and run a gun. I want to see it. You hitting a 10 inch plate, 400 meters with your AK-63D, it's going to be tough. I, don't, I ain't going to say you can't do it. You can, but it's, it's going to be a lot of shots before you connect. Sling swivel here, standard AK sling swivel up front right there. Top cover's excellent. The field strip, I saw no issues again with it at all. Takedown was awesome. Um, and I think that's most of the stuff. And they're saying again, beech woods, uh, wood on that. Firepower is AK standard, which is to say, amazing. And what magazines did we test with it? We tested the steel. We tested the circle tins. We tested the Tapco. That worked. Both 20 and 30 rounders. And I think that's it for the test. And they all worked. So cool. There's an OD circle tin. I love that. That's my, like, my favorite color. Those way, way went up in price. I'm glad I bought them when I did. That black one looks pretty cool in there. And that'll take us to accuracy. I don't have any long range stuff to show you because I wasn't in the mood. Uh, all iron sights, of course. This is 25 yards. Russian Army brass. A Red Army bra standard brass, sorry. Good group. Look at this, dude. This is standing. That's good groups. Oh my gosh. That's with Red Army Brass, which is not a consistent load. It's usually all over the place. Last but not least, first shot. I'm ex, you know, I'm doing up arrow exclamation point because I'm stoked. It's 25 yards, all brass ammo. Shots deal with it, and it worked great. Such a great AK, from what I know about it. Track record excellent. 
accuracy excellent uh accessories well uh, don't change it Jammed. that's that's my Sweet. my admonition to you don't change anything on the gun that's what i say if you want something to change get something else you know get a was or tin change it to your heart's content i think honestly this is just me talking i think these are going to go way up in value especially with this video getting the word out on these and there's not much information on these at all but the blackheart international these first versions again catalog number bhi 762101 i think they're going to go up they're going to be collectible people are going to go after them they're going to go oh my gosh you got a black heart the original one uh, mark my words at will happen uh, i can't believe the ak community missed this but they did i mean i i jumped into one forum and they're like yeah i'm not too sure about it yeah i wouldn't trust it just get it just get a rush and i'm like well yeah i can't believe you guys missed it it, it blows my mind um, value is worth it again there's just going to be a few out there on a secondary market you might be able to find them they're basically a Hungarian AK-63D that's what they are with a few US parts in them and a high quality barrel from what I can see a really high quality barrel dude I, I mean I'm buying this gun there you go how's that for oxygen I'm buying it it's gonna go and be a cast member for a while and I just love it and by the way, shooting it with the, the Tapco or any other AK-74 muzzle brake, highly recommended. The slant muzzle brakes are okay. They're super lightweight. They're sh shorter in OAL, but I like the AK. I'll take a little bit, you know, a few extra ounces for better shootability. That's a nut and fancy review. Told you to be short. See ya. What's your name? Alan. And you're Russian? Yeah. You're a tmp -er. For 100%. I All subscribed right. to you the first time I could. So I'll shoot my target. It's on That's fine. He uh, has a collection of 226s for my video. Oh. What? Did it go empty? Yeah. Yeah. Making sure. Yeah. Sick. Super. Let's do it. I'll load you up. It's a lot more softer shooting than the Russian AKs that I used to. Oh, is it? The action. You, you feel that it's, it's better made. So tell me again, who makes this particular? Blackheart. Blackheart 762. It's very soft. I love it. I think it's awesome. It's very soft shooting gun, yeah. This is Allen, former Russian infantry, now tmp -er. How's the trigger? Uh, trigger is um, consistent, I would say. It's not as, as crisp and sharp as some ARs, uh, but, I, but it's a lot better than, than Russian AK trigger. It's a Tapco G2. I dig it. I think it's awesome. Hey, it's well made, too. I think so. Thanks it's for well shooting it.